Hi, George here. And today we're going to be changing the background music in 1.19 to new custom music. Okay, switch over to the desktop and get to work on this. First, you need two things. And the first one of those is just a place to build your new resource pack. I just made a folder here. I called it Packs on my C drive. Nothing special about that. And of course, you need a new song to replace the existing song. And I have one right here. This is just something that I grabbed from the YouTube audio library so I can actually play it here in this video. And let's hear what this one sounds like. I'll just open this up. Now I play my music here in the VLC media player. So if you're using a different media player, you'll see a different icon on there. Let it play just for a second so you get a sense of what this is like. It gets into another little section just a bit here. There we go. Okay. It's similar to the Minecraft sounds, but it's a lot brighter and a lot faster. So it's a bit more up-tempo than the existing Minecraft song. So that's what we'll be using. I found that this works best starting from an MP3 file. So if you don't have it in MP3, look for an MP3 file. And again, you can get these any place you want. doesn't matter. We now need to convert this over to the .ogg or .og format. And I'll show you two ways of doing that, depending upon how you like to work. First off, let me show you an online version. And then I'll show you how to do this over in Audacity, which is my favorite desktop app. So let's open up a browser window here. The site that I've tried that works out great for me is the convert.io right here. And they have a page just for converting MP3 to AUG. I'll put this link up here in the description so you can just grab that and come right to this page. Simply choose your file that you want to convert. There we go. That's the one. Choose open. And up here you can choose what to convert to. And you have some settings. I'll just leave all my settings at the defaults. And then click on convert. We'll then go ahead and do the conversion. That goes pretty fast. This is just a three minute long song, but it converts much faster than real time. So this will be done right there. There it is. That's finished. That's all the time it took. And then let's download this. Click on download. It goes back into the same location and choose save. There we go. That's all finished. Let's just get this out of the way. And here's our converted .og format file. Okay, that's one way. It's an online way. Let me show you my favorite desktop app, which gives you a lot more options when you're doing this kind of conversion. And that's the Audacity sound editing program. There we go. Now the easiest way to get a file in here is just to drag and drop. So let me bring up that folder again. And here's the MP3 file. I'll just drag it over here and that opens that right up. Okay. Now we need to do two things in here. First off, look over here. It's stereo and it's 44 100 hertz. Now we need to change that and that's pretty easy to do. Click into the blue section right here so that that goes light like that. That's now selected and go up here to tracks come down to resample and then change the sampling rate here to 4800. That then matches what's in the game. That's why I make sure everything matches exactly. 32 bit float is correct. Okay, so now all the settings on our song file here match correctly. Let's now export this out and we'll export this out as OGG. So go up here to file, come down to export and export as OGG. And we'll save it into the same folder right here. Choose save. Okay, then to do that conversion. There we go, that's all done. And we're now finished with Audacity. So here's the original MP3. We did this one inside of Audacity and this one here with the one after it. We did this one with the online conversion tool. Now we need to set up a resource pack and put this into a resource pack to load this in. Now I want to use this to replace one or more of the songs that are currently in the game. So for that we need a list of songs. Now I have a list of all background music and you can get a link for that on my website. But let me just bring up a short list here just for the new songs that are in 1.19. And it's right here. And there are four songs. The first one up here, this is the folder that it goes into right here. And here's the name of the song. So the Ancestry just goes into the game folder. And then all the rest of them, the other three go into the swamp folder. All the same, we have Airy, Firebugs, Labyrinthine. So we have these four songs. Now to replace these songs, we have to build a resource pack that has this stuff contained in it. And we need to rename our songs over here to match these. Now I'm going to be using the same song for all four of these. That's perfectly fine. So we'll start off by making these folders right here. I'm going to put this list right up there so it's easy for me to see. And we're in the packs folder here. Now I'm in Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, you can find the new folder button right here. In Windows 11, there it is. Just click on new and folder. And the first one here is assets. Let's go inside of that one and new folder. This one is Minecraft. There we go. Inside of here, new folder. This one is sounds. There we go. Inside of that, new folder. This one's music. And then inside of music, new folder, game. There we go. Inside of game, 
one more folder here, new folder and swamp. And there we go. So there's the full folder structure right here. We're all set for that. Now we need to get these files, these names into these folders. So I'll start off here with the original one. I'm just gonna take this one, right click, and let's make a copy of that. That's right here. And let's go inside just to the game folder, which is right there. Let me change this view so it's matching large icons. There we go. Okay, right inside this folder, right click and paste, and then just rename this. Now this is one of those spots that things tend to break inside of resource packs. So be careful about this, make sure it's spelled correctly, and make sure that's a lowercase at the beginning, no uppercase letters, all lowercase. Also, if you're not seeing that .ogg up here, you have to see that. This is added on there by the conversion program. If you're not seeing that, again, in Windows 11, go up here to View and come down to Show and Find them Extensions right down here. If you're in Windows 10, click on the View tab and then put a check next to File Name Extensions. Let's now copy this, right click, copy. Let's go into Swamp, right click and paste. There's a paste button. And we're gonna name this one Airy. There we go. And right click, paste again. And let's rename this Firebugs. And right click and paste again. And this one is Labyrinthine. Okay, so we have all of our song files all now set in. They're all the right names and they're all the OGG file formats. And again, make sure that you convert to OGG. You can't just rename these OGG. It has to be converted using a sound app. Okay, so now back up here to packs. Now we need to have a couple more files in here to make this thing work. The first is a pack.png. It's just an icon file. It's just 120 by 120 or 256 by 256. Doesn't matter what the picture is. I happen to have one that I use all the time. It's my own image. But if you want to use the one from the game, let me show you where you can find that. There we go. Now I'm in the Java edition right up here. Go up to installations and where it says let us release over here, right hand side in that folder icon. Click on that and that opens up the Minecraft folder up here. And then come down to where it says versions. Open this up. Look for 119 and it's right here. Open that up and you should see two files in here, a .jar and a .json. If you're only seeing the .json, then you have to play the game once, at least as far as the title screen, because it's just before the title screen that Minecraft downloads the .jar the first time you play that. So make sure you open up the title screen one time and you get the .jar. If you're not seeing the .jar and .json extensions, then make sure that you've clicked on show file extensions like I talked about just a couple of minutes ago. Okay, let's so take the .jar. I'm gonna right drag it over here to my folder and copy. Don't move it, just right drag and copy. Let's now close this down. Now if you have WinRAR or you have 7-zip, you can open this thing up directly. If you don't, doesn't matter. We're going to change this to a zip file. Just click into the name and then backspace over the .jar and change that to .zip. Say yes. That's just a zip file anyway, it just has a different name on it. I'm going to right click on this and open in new window. Here we go. And in here, you want to scroll way down. We're looking for pack.png. So that's way, way, way down here towards the bottom. And I think we just passed it. There we go, right there. Right drag it over here and copy. And that's that grass block pack.png. This is the default PNG. So there we go. Now we also need to have a pack.mc meta file and Minecraft used to include those, but they stopped doing that back in 117. So you can still get one from an earlier version of Minecraft or to make it easy for you, I've put it up on my website. Let's go ahead and I'll show you where that is. There we go. And I'll put this address in the description so you can just click on that and come right to this page. Now, if you want just the code for this, that's right here, right in the middle. That's that bit right there. Now this can be edited inside of Notepad, Windows Notepad. But if you do that, it has to be saved with the ANSI encoding. So make sure you look for encoding when you're doing the save button and change that to ANSI or it's not gonna work for you. Or you can do this over in Notepad++. That's my personal favorite program right here. Now we're in version 119, so where it says pack format, this needs to be nine instead of eight. So you need to change that. Now it's just pack.mcmeta. You don't wanna have any .text on there, so make sure you get the name correct. It should be just like that right there. Or make it real super easy. Just download the zip file right here and then extract that from the zip file and I have it inside there. So I have that already set free. We'll go ahead and we'll do it that way. Click on that and I'll save it into my same location here. Choose save. There you go, that's done. Let's get this out of the way. 
and I'll right click here and extract all extract and there's that file right there and just right drag it over here and copy and there's the pack MC meta now I have mine set to open up here in notepad plus plus that's why you have that icon on it double click and I already have this set for format 9 so that's fine all you need to do is just to change the description up here and I'll call it custom background music and then go to encoding and come down to where it says convert to ANSI click on that you can double check that up here encoding and it should say ANSI right there okay hit the save button and that's it that's all that we need to do there okay the resource pack now is almost finished that was fast we now need to zip this up so get the assets folder hold the control key down get that pack MC meta and that pack PNG and then right click and I press the zip file if you're in Windows 11 if you're in Windows 10 then what you do is you click on the share tab and click zip same exact thing Okay, so assets and those two files, PackMC Meta and PackPNG. Again, I'll right click, zip file. There we go. Give it a name. I'm going to call it custom background music and 19 since we're in version 119. And that's all set. We now need to get this into the game. And that's also very easy. Let's go back up here again to this same launcher page and click on that icon right there. Now here come down where it says resource packs go into resource packs put that right there let's go over here and then just take it and drag it and drop it right inside there there we go it's in the game okay that can be taken out of the way and that one and all of this stuff get all that out of the way and we're still in our launcher right here java edition as you can see now when we go ahead and play this it's then going to play those songs instead of the new 119 songs Let's see how that works out. I'll go ahead, we'll click into play. We shouldn't see any errors or anything in here. And come onto the title screen. Now I have a custom screen in here instead of the panorama. If you want your own custom title screen like this, I'll put links for how I did this in the description. But come down to options and resource packs. And then the left hand side, you should see your pack. Now notice I haven't updated these packs to 119 yet. I'm not using them, so it doesn't matter. So that's what we just made here. Notice that it's not in red, so it works correctly. Click the button. It should come over here, right hand side. We're all set to go. Choose done and done again. And single player, here's my main world. Okay, we now need to switch over and go over to a mangrove swamp. So I'm just going to quickly zip over there and we'll check out that background music. Okay, we're here inside the mangrove swamp and we'll just wait until that music starts. It starts at random, so it could be a minute or two, or it could start right away. It depends. It just kind of starts when it wants to and stops when it wants to. And there we go. There's a new background music for Minecraft 1.19 working perfectly in Java. Check out my Minecraft Spotify playlist. The link is in the description. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.